going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about you gas. It's going up pretty good right now, but we might have a little bit of complication. going to be talking about that. And uh, we're also going to be talking about this hot ass market right now. So let's get right into you gas first. All right guys, we've been going on a rampage here for the past three days. Finally got back to where I bought in here at 1430. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 180 day four hour chart. I got something to show you here. So if it keeps ripping the way it has been, we're actually going to be coming up to a double top here. As you can see, I'm going to draw the line in. And that's going to be right around 1537 here. And this is the area that I'm actually looking to sell my position at right here. And I'm going to tell you why. So we got this GFS weather model live chart right here. If we go down here and look at it. So blue is bullish and red is bearish. Pretty simple. But if we look up here. This chart's basically saying at the end of this week, you guys is going to be bearish. If we go back to the chart here, it's probably going to end up being right around this double top area that I was talking about. So as of right now, all of this stuff is starting to make sense to me. Why I think next week we are going to be bearish. Now, we could just be consolidating. I don't know how far it's going to drop, but I do believe that you guys has not started this run yet into the winter time. So if you look at last week here, we actually still are going up in storage. And I believe next Thursday, it's actually going to be the same thing. We're actually still going to be going up a little bit. And from the last report, we actually are up 100. And I don't think that we're really going to start declining until we get into next month. So as of right now, I'm just playing the up and down game of you guess. But October for me is the time to really get long into you guess. Just looking at the weather map here, you can see we really don't have any cold temperatures. That's going to be using up all the storage that we have. <laughs> Thumbs up. So we're going to be talking about the market here a little bit. It has been absolutely on fire this week. As you can see, SES right here is just ripping. But today, a lot of people made money shorting this thing. So if you're in this stock, hopefully you got out and you made some money. And we got BIMI here BIMI just made a massive move is that even right 752 percent it jumped up that is insane but just like SES today it dumped right back down these are some parabolical moves and that's what's going to happen in October with these penny stocks so if you trade penny stocks this is a good time for you a good thing that I like to do every night is check the stocks that are gapping up here especially during this month when everything is going crazy and you got a lot of earnings reports coming up this month and a lot of them are presenting them after hours so this is a good way to keep an eye on stocks that are actually doing really good on their earnings report or just doing good in general but as you can see not much going on really today and after hours so the number of stocks that are coming out with earnings reports are starting to grow in numbers you got 34 44 and if we go into next week here it's really starting to ramp up you got 82 143 156 so this is going to be a time for me to start watching in after hours to check and see if any of these stocks are gapping up off of good earnings so that's my plan for this week just going to have to see how it plays out just like to thank you guys all for subscribing to my channel if you're new please hit that subscribe button and like this video if you guys enjoyed it let's make some money everybody